while, but by that point the siege was over. She had a pretty impressive kill list. Technically, the baby had a pretty impressive kill list too, because he was credited for the kills because it was his skull that was killing everything. And when the battle was over and she got out of the the uh, enraged state, she looked down at her baby and was dead. And she and she she got so sad. She got depressed. She looked down at her baby, and she blamed goblins for it. Uh huh. I know. Smart woman, right? She blamed the goblins for it, had the baby buried, and she eventually just went all depressed out, depressed, and killed herself. I'm realizing that's how one of my stories end. That's depressing. But anyway, basically, women who are married can't join the military because I don't want them to have their babies go out on the battlefield and kill, get killed. And that might sound bad, but... It's for the betterment of dwarven kind. Well, either I talk a lot or they started working a lot faster because in the, in the middle of that story, they just really picked up the pace. Dr. Ivo Robotnik. Hmm. Really, we've not had anything come up since the merchants. It's not been bad. This is where it gets a little bit. This is probably where it's gonna get a little bit boring to watch. It's just there's not much, there's a lot of gold up these mountains. There's also a lot of moving, very scary looking wormy tendrils and staring eyeball plants that are growing on this mountain with the stuff. So I don't know if it'd be worth it to even go after this stuff, because I don't know if this stuff is going to want to kill me or not. But it seems like in the winter it clears up just ever so slightly. There's silver there, and if I ever want, I could get that silver. I like silver. Silver is used for hammers. I fucking like hammers. Goes and it basically flattens out at the top. One of these days, I might just kind of try and flatten out the mountain, like literally just be like dig, dig, and just dig, just start digging down from here, and just be like, well, we're gonna start digging down. We're gonna dig all of that out, and then just see what happens. But today's not that day. We don't have the manpower. To be fair, we don't have anything. Oh, they're withered. At least we got food. We've got food, we've got stuff, and we've got a drawbridge. If anything goes down, we're in the clear. Okay, let's see. Been happy lately, has been satisfied at work lately, admired on fine bed, slept in a good bedroom, see? Bigger bedrooms, man. They'll do it for you. He was forced to endure the decay of... Okay. He has complained of thirst. Okay. He has caught in the rain. Okay. He has complained of nasty water. Nasty water? What? Somebody die in the watering hole again. That sounds terrible. And this guy's body that was in here basically got destroyed when it iced over, which sucks, but whatever. And that's what makes me depressed. I wanted his stuff. I wanted to steal it. Uh, that makes me sound like a terrible, horrible person. I'm very not actually sorry, to be fair. <laughs> Spring has arrived. Wow, we went through the winter without a seed? What is this? Normally during winter, man, three, man, you'd get, I expected, especially since we're at war with the werewolf guys, that they'd be all up in our shit, but apparently they're, they're busy with other people. And what is this dead body? What the hell? Locum, locum Zaragnif. It's a cat. Okay. It's a cat. No one cares. And to be fair, I can always, I can always get more cats later, but, and there's a, there's a lot of gold down here, too. 
That wouldn't be, that wouldn't even be hard to get. That'd just be like, there's silver. The only problem is I don't even have a, an industry set up for that. And by that I mean I don't have the furnaces, the smelters, or anything to process it once I get it. So yeah, while it's right there and while it's so easy to get, it's, I don't have anything I could do with it. It's kind of really blows actually. This is one of the this is one of the rare times where literally everything you'd ever need is right in front of your face, but you can't even use it. There's nothing to catch in the central swamp. Hey, we've got puppies. If only they didn't take so long to grow up. Huh. Hmm. Uh -huh. Oh well. I've been kind of annoyed at making videos lately simply for the reason Sony Vegas has been kicking my ass. Her, it's just literally been her during all over the place and not wanting to record, which is pissing me off to no end. I mean, not record, but render. I'll put maybe, I don't even know. I, put, I, I can only put even one pin video to render and it'll render, but it'll render out completely black. And then I can do it again and it'll render out fine. I don't know what's the issue. I don't know if maybe my hard, like, my external hard drive is getting disconnected sometime and it's like doing something to the process or if Vegas is just a finicky little bitch. And I really don't know. Hmm. Either way. Either way, I hope we can, I hope we can fix it soon. It's starting to get on my nerves. Oh. Also, I had somebody ask me in the K menu, is there any specific reason why when you're looking at certain stuff, and here's a good spot, uh, we'll switch to inside dark subterranean, I'm going to zoom in to outside light above ground if there's any difference between the two and it is and it might extend farther than you think actually dwarves if you do not set up their labors properly as in you go to where says here jobs not jobs list but set orders here you can change where they do stuff and by default they'll only do stuff that's inside. It doesn't matter if it's dark, light, subterranean, or above ground. As long as it says inside, that's typically the only place they'll perform their duties. And by that I mean it's the only place they'll get to gather refuse. Because you can see out here I don't have it set up. So all this refuse that's, little, that's lying around isn't inside the pile. But inside there's not any. Except that one right there, but that does not count, because I think that just got laid there. And that, and, that, and even that, that's laying on something, so it's not like, yeah, so it's new. Gabriel Thurl. This is fine. Crap, okay. But, that's the only place that they'll typically do stuff like that. It's the only place they like to sleep. It's the only place they like, like to gather uh, remains and and even work if you set a if you set a designation for them to dig something out from the above ground and from below ground they'll start it below ground first and that can screw you over if you don't know that because if you set them to dig a, just a chasm down and somehow that connects to something else they'll start it from underground first and if you start digging from above and they've already done the below and they start digging down they're gonna fall to their deaths now also that also applies to other things such as plants, weather effects, but, but mostly the plants because you can only grow things like the wild strawberries, the wild strawberries, um, hell I don't even remember anymore. I don't remember all the names of the plants, like that, that never mattered a hundred percent to me. So. 
I can probably check actually. Seed barrel. Cave wheat. Yeah, wild strawberries. And pickleberries. Yeah, those are the main two. Those can only be grown on farm plots that are considered outside and in the sunlight. If they're a subterranean, basically, basically, if it's above ground, wild strawberries and pickleberries. If it's below ground, plump helmets and plump helmets. Because plump helmets are plump helmets and plump helmet, plump helmet, plump helmet. Plump helmet? Plump helmet. Right, plump helmet. But any, big yeah. But that's, that's mainly where it stems from. I could I could go to the set orders and have the dwarves gather refuse from outside, but the thing is, they'd gather it from everywhere outside. If anything dies anywhere, if a rat if a rat even so much as shits somewhere, they'll go everywhere down there, down there in that little area, up here on this flat area, up here on this flat area. And all the way up the mountain, picking up rat shit and corpses. No matter what kind of corpses they are, whether it's important or not, they will gather it. And I'd rather them not have to do that. We've got too much to do for them to be off doing stuff like that. Those two horses died. <laughs> God damn it. 742 Eurists. That's... That's literally 742 pounds or some random shit. I really don't know the Euros conversion ratio. Now you might be going, what the fuck's a Euros? Well, a Euros is the... It's basically the overall... I don't even really know the word. It's basically used in, in the place of pounds, pounds and kilograms in place of Celsius, in place of everything that requires a scientific measurement. I've <coughs> <coughs> been getting kind of sick lately, I think. Kind of the weather mostly, but still. It's basically used in the place of any scientific measurement, and it has a real world conversion ratio, but I could fucking care less to, to really memorize that. The only thing I know is, if it's something like that, the bigger it is, the longer a dwarf is going to have, or the longer it's going to take a dwarf to carry it. Now, I'm actually going to go ahead and set up a food custom stockpile. We're going to disable everything in here, except additional items, so even seeds. And we're going to set this up as food. Closet. We're going to build workshops, not a butcher shop, or not a, not a boiler shop. We need a butcher shop. <laughs> we're going to put it on a micro line. We not, don't need that. We're going to need this. Do we have anybody who can butcher? We're going to remove everything but your food hauling labors. Right there, food dog. We're going to commit changes. And we're going to have to wait for this guy to build that thing. Well, it shouldn't take long. He doesn't have anything else to do. And I'm hoping he doesn't take too long that the horses die. Or not die, but decay. Yeah, and that one dwarf back there, he was, he was swerving. Back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. Who was the dwarf we were looking for? Thicken, Helm, Pond, no, shit. And, never mind, he's already, she is already building it. He's gonna get some butcher name. Guess what we're going to do? We are going to butcher dead animals. Two of them. Bitch, I told you to butcher dead animals. There we go. Grabbing that horse course. I don't know if she's going to make it to the second one before it decays. 
Although it is inside, and we really don't have a rat problem because we've got a lot of cats, so... And as you can see, it's already getting kind of bloody over there. Yeah, that, that workshop's cluttered all to hell. And, and that's something else I'm going to have to point out. When a workshop gets the little purple CLT next to it, that means it's cluttered. That means there's a lot of items there. Horse cores and microline. Yeah, it's... Oh my god, it's so cluttered. I wonder what all we're going to get out of that horse corpse, because I know we can get bones and the like, but I wonder how much meat they're going to have on them. 